Hello and welcome back to another how-to tutorial. In this episode we look at clipping quick draws for lead climbing. We cover correct rope orientation, techniques for clipping of quick draw with either hand and a few tips for becoming slick and efficient. We'll cover placing quick draws on sport and trad climbs outside and extending quick draws in another episode. This video will focus primarily on clipping quick draws indoors which are already in place. We have other tutorials on our channel so check those out and do remember to subscribe. Getting the rope the correct way round within the quick draw is vital. It ensures that the quick draw remains functional in the event of a lead fall. Correct orientation is where the climber's end is coming out of the front of the carabiner. During a fall, the rope is captured either side of the carabiner, ensuring it remains within the quick draw. Incorrect placement of the rope is where the climber's end runs out of the back of the carabiner. This setup is dangerous as it means that during a fall, the climber's end can run over the gate and unclip itself in the process. Notice how the quick draw itself hangs straight without any twists and how the rope is not wrapped in any way around the carabiner to allow free movement of the rope. After clipping a quick draw, double check that the rope is correctly orientated before climbing on. To set yourself up for an easier clip, reach down for the rope with your thumb pointing downwards. This will help when it comes to managing the rope into the carabiner later. Clipping with the gate facing the same way as the clipping hand, for example clipping a right facing gate with the right hand. As you bring the rope up in your hand, settle it across the back of your thumb and between your middle and forefinger. Reach for the quick draw and grab the carabiner with your thumb and ring finger. Lifting the carabiner away from the wall helps to clip the rope in more easily. Finally control the rope with your middle and forefingers and push it through the gate and into the carabiner. Alternatively, you can keep the rope on the inside of your hand. As you reach down, pick the rope up between your middle and forefingers, so it's across your palm. Reach for the quick draw and pull it away from the wall using your thumb and ring finger. Control the rope using your middle and forefingers to push it into the gate. Gate facing opposite direction to the clipping hand, for example a left facing gate with a right hand clipping. Reach down and pick up the rope between your thumb and forefinger. Use your middle finger to again lift the quick draw away from the wall by hooking the carabiner. Control the rope with your thumb and forefinger to push it through the gate. Before setting off on your first lead climb, take the time to practice clipping using both hands with both directions of gates. Most climbing ground walls will level. have somewhere to practice this. When you feel proficient at clipping with both hands, progress onto holding yourself onto the wall whilst clipping. This only needs to be one or two moves off the ground and will help simulate clipping quick draws on lead. Once you feel confident that you can clip, then choose an easy lead climb to start with. Aim to clip the quick draw anywhere between just above head height, within reach, and chest height. To conserve energy for climbing the route, aim to clip each quick draw with a straightened arm. A bent arm engages more muscles and will lead to fatigue much more quickly. Be wary not to Z-clip. This is where the rope from below the last runner is clipped into a higher one, creating a Z-effect with the rope. 
It effectively means that the lower runner is in use and creates a large amount of drag and friction. Be conscious as you reach down for the rope that the rope is taken from above the last quick draw. We hope you found this video useful. If you are in any doubt, then please do employ the help of a mountaineering and climbing instructor. Thanks for watching.